Welcome to Bad Data via AL. No problem. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, in a recent discussion, somewhere on social media, um, there were talk about, you know, how to validate and, and how to fill out stuff and, and what happens behind the scene and, and what expectations there were to the system when you do a, a modify, for instance, or an insert. And the interesting thing here is that AL, Business Central, is nothing like what you have tried somewhere else. Um, even though we're using SQL, we're not using SQL. Uh, so, so I think it's important to understand that that all data operations in in Business Central kind of work in a language that were designed for a non-SQL database and a database that had all its own rules. And what has happened is that we have adapted SQL to be, you know, the storage medium, but our language to talk with this data, uh, to manipulate the, the way we handle data is still very much influenced by how the old database worked. And one of the interesting things are that uh, it's certainly it's possible to um, to create bad data. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you how, so you can avoid it. Anyway, so so let's get straight into that. And and here is here's an extension, um, and we're just going to mess with customers. Um, and it'll, if I do, I create a customer variable here, um, customer. So let's say I want to create a new customer. So I could do customer in it, and. Um, there's number series and, and there's probably some setup for the number series saying that can you assign or not assign manual numbers but I could say that the the customer uh, sorry the, the the number of the customer is something like this how about that that's an interesting customer number right um so let's do customer insert and and that's it Let, let's run this little program see what happens so we are deployed and we got deployed to a screen that was a different screen but hey we can work with that um Maybe we should close a lot of stuff. There we go. Um, so, see, we got a customer, and the, this customer has dot as numbers. Um, something weird happens, by the way. You can see that? Let's make it bigger. So, go away tour. I don't want any tours. Um, how about we try to let's put this on and then do a uh, filter to this value so now I think we broke the system um, Yeah, working on it. Let and let's just make sure. Oh, sorry. Haha, <laughs> we got a breakpoint somewhere. Let's see what happens. So the filter dot 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 is not valid for the normal field and customer table. Both sides of a range cannot be empty. So now we have a customer number that we can't filter to. Or can we? Can we put quotes around this and make it work? Yeah, we can. But Clearly, it couldn't figure out how to do that itself. Um, but still, if we were to create a new customer here, we would have a, uh, you know, get it from the customer number series and so on. So, so you, 
there's nothing in the code enforcing that. Um, one example, let's create another customer or let's actually, no, let's do something else and do customer.find first here. So just, just do one more thing. So another, if we look at this, our great four dotted customer here, we can see that you know the name field is mandatory. The value for this field is required. And clearly we inserted a customer without having a name. Um, and let's give it a, a credit limit and I'll close the page. So now we, we clearly did not fill required out. So, so that's also kind of, well, not enforced. It might be enforced by code somewhere, but it's not truly enforced by the UI. Um, then you see, we have a field here called blocked. And if we go in and say, okay, let's, let's play with blocked for a second. Uh, so we have custom find first, and we have this customer now. So we could say that customer dot blocked equal. And normally you do customer dot blocked colon colon blank all uh, invoice ship and, and do something like this. And this is great. And we can go and look and see that this is an enum called custom blocked. And we can see that it's zero, one, two, three. So Right, hang on, let's get back to Hello World. That's where we were. So instead of this, let's set this to 17. That's a good random number. And do cost modify. So clearly 17 is not a one of the one, zero, one, two, three options. So let's run this guy. And let's try to open the page inspector here, for instance, and see what is blocked. Oh, that's behind my head. That was, that was not a good idea, Eric. Um, let's see if I'm able to kind of. So now we can see the blocked has the value 17. So, but if we open this customer, we can see now black, black, blocked is, well, it looks like we have, it's unblocked, right? If we look at this, this is clearly looks like this is the value, but that's clearly not the value here because the value is, is option 17 that doesn't exist. But, and this is because the option field in this case is just stored, or enum uh, actually now, it's just stored as a number in the database. And you know, the culprit in everything I'm doing right now is the colon equal assignment uh, statement. That you, the, the fact that you can just assign any value to, uh, uh, to a field like this, uh, and nothing is, is preventing you. Um, so, what I'm trying to say in this, this video is that when you create data with AL, don't expect the system to enforce any rules. So, so you see, I have modify here and I, I could, I could do a say modify false, meaning that I'll not run the unmodified trigger if there are, are any, uh, I could do a dot validate here and that might be, so let, let me actually show you one more thing before we end the video. So um, let's go into this, our dear customer again here and go down to, no, tax area code, one of the one with an asterisk on. And I will select, uh, I'll select Manitoba apparently. And, and our options here are clearly provinces in Canada. Uh, bonus points if you can mention all of them without looking at a list and perhaps where they're located. Um, anyway, so, so now we set this to Manitoba, that's all good. Uh, but what happens if we go here and then we say, uh, and this was, well, I forgot the name now of the field now. Wow, Eric. Tax 
area code. So tax area code equal YouTube. Wow, can't even spell. Clearly that's not a province in Canada. What happens? The code runs on open page, so clearly it ran. No issues, there were no errors. We go down, we look and see that the tax error code is YouTube. Um, if we end up in a situation where we will enforce a, uh, a validate, we will enforce something uh, where this field gets validated again, then yeah, we'll get an error. But because we just assigned this directly, nobody is yelling at you. The system is not yelling at you. This is this is data in the system. This is bad data in the system, but it's data in the system nonetheless. Um, and I think we are. I, I have passed my uh, a lot of time for for discussing how to create bad data. Um, so that was a few examples. Uh, of course, the correct way is is to actually validate uh, what you put in. The correct way is to, with, with option fields, make sure that you use the colon colon so you know that you're inputting something that's valid. Uh, when you're signing something like that has a relationship, make sure you actually have the related record and, and use that as an assignment and so on. Uh, because the system will gladly allow you to fill Business Central with crappy data and the only one this is going to hurt well it's going to hurt a lot of people but it, it's going to hurt the customer because you import something from somewhere and you put a value in in a field that needs to be related and that might not show up as an error until you know four months later when something is touching something is calling something is cannot print it because it cannot locate the province called youtube or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, AL will totally allow you to make any sorts of data in, in, in fields as long as it complies to the storage type. There's no validation unless you make sure that you actually validate in the code. Uh, so maybe try that. that, that works for a lot of people. Uh, anyway, that's the, uh, hey, bad data. No problem video. So have fun and stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.